Another common pain point for women who didn't have a father in the life the way that they wanted to is the fear of abandonment. Daddy issues can leave you feeling abandoned or rejected, impacting your ability to trust and form other healthy relationships. But it's time to address these fears and heal from past wounds. Your past is your past. It's an opportunity to learn and to do something about the emotions that they have placed on you. It doesn't mean that you default to them and just to say, well, that's just who I am. That's the lot I was given and I have to deal with it. No. And you know, sometimes it takes time to really figure out what's the best way to move forward. As we mature and have children of our own, we realize that many dynamics that take place in our lives and relationships took place in our parents' lives. We recognize that our parents are people too. They have, they had, or they have different types of relationships, different levels of emotional intelligence and different abilities to love and show love. So, but while it is not your responsibility to make excuses for why your father may not have participated in your life or in the relationship the way that you wished, there may have been reasons why he didn't. So have some kind of empathy for the fact that people go through things that they don't discuss with you. Remember, you are his child or you are their children and you might not get all the behind the scenes that you might need to fill in some of the answers why. Triggered feelings like abandonment are understandable, but understanding why you are triggered doesn't mean that the fear of abandonment has to be a default emotion for you. You can work through this fear and it may require therapy or other interventions, but you can get through that. Healing from daddy issues begins with forgiveness. In many of my videos, I discuss the power of forgiveness in releasing emotional burdens. See, the forgiveness isn't necessarily for the person who did you wrong or the person who didn't show up for you. Forgiveness is for you. And not only are you to forgive the person who hurt you, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for maybe time lost or the way that you reacted or were triggered in certain situations, the way that you talked to your parents because you just were hurt and you didn't understand. But the practice of forgiveness for your father and yourself, it helps you. So focus on healing old wounds and letting go of resentment. The journey of healing will pave the way for healthier relationships and emotional empowerment. And this is in every area of your life and you need this to create the future that you desire. You know, if this content is hitting home with you, Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more empowering content, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on new videos. Your support, it means the world to me. Now, trust issues often stem from daddy issues. And we hear that when we have talks about relationships, she has a bad attitude or she doesn't trust or she's skeptical because she didn't have a father figure or a daddy in her life. Well, you know, in some cases that may be true. The trust issues from daddy issues makes it challenging to trust people and form meaningful connections. Not everyone will hurt you though, and not everyone will abandon you. So working on your emotions allows you to develop openness and vulnerability. You don't have to have this hard persona, this hard shell. You can still operate in life and use emotional intelligence to help you become vulnerable. It's essential to work through these trust barriers to cultivate fulfilling relationships. You must work to accept relationships on a one-to-one -one basis. You know, it's not fair to just trust all men just because your relationship with your dad wasn't the way that you wanted it to be. But it, it does take time to trust people. So trust isn't instant by any means, whether you had daddy issues or not. But you should be open to trust until you see evidence otherwise. 